Uh, this is on Steam. We had played the first one. Mm -hmm. This is the second, first, our first time playing the second one. It's a collection of five different games, and the way it works is they're projected onto a TV screen, and everybody playing plays on their phone or a tablet or a laptop. <laughs> So it, that, that's really cool, the way it works. You can all connect wirelessly. You just go to a website. Mm -hmm. And that's and first off, that's just great for large numbers of people. It's super Considering easy. Considering you fit at least eight people on some Most, of the games. Yeah, some of them more than that, depending. Some of them have audience participation, too. So you could even fit like a whole group. Uh, it's, it's a really great way to get people playing a game without having to sit at a Hon table and honestly, learn Honestly, when rules. we usually have at least six people, we bring this game out, or the first one, yeah. Because I know for me, it's one of my favorites. So I would the say visual ones, because it's just yeah. it's very simple. It's fun. You get to type in, and of course, you get to put in your name, and everyone has silly names and stuff. <laughs> right. <laughs> like one time, you went Jonathan, then I was Jonathan too. <laughs> just being a jerk. Like, uh, but uh, the, so the first game we liked, but I think we agree. Well, let's go through each game. Well, I just well, if I want to start just by saying that there was really one game in the first version that I think we both really liked, which was Fibbage. Mm -hmm. And the rest were kind of like, ranged from bad to well, okay, in my well, opinion. Th no, there's, in the first one, I liked the drawing one. Like, it wasn't mm. as good as Fibbage, but I liked it a lot. And then there was, um, You Don't Know Jack, but that only fits oh, four people. Oh, right. So that's why... I almost don't count that, because to me, You Don't Know Jack is just like another thing. game. But you're right, but, that is a good one, too. Yeah. Right, but so this one has... The first, first off, it has the Fibbage 2, so clearly they know also that that's their best game, because the, that's the only repeat. Well, it's a new version of it. So you don't, there is even a You Don't Know Jack in there? No, there's no You Don't oh, Know Jack oh. in this one, which is interesting. Uh, but that basically, uh, they put it, it's a fill in the blank, and you make something up, and everyone's trying to figure out what the truth is. It's like a fact, it's some kind of a trivia fact. Mm -hmm. uh, that is, it's a hilarious game. Yes, because <laughs> you'll, you'll get things like... Uh, what was the surprising thing the man found uh, when he picked up at a Kanye West concert? <laughs> right. And we're all like, uh, I don't know this. And then it becomes hilarious because what happens is we had, this happened a lot. Like, someone put in tissue, but then someone put in use tissue. <laughs> right. So then you're like, did someone just put in the basic thing and they, they're so, so yeah, close? Yeah, the more or? people you have, the more you run into things like that, which is And funny. then, of course, or when there's just the one. other thing, which for I think for us now is almost like, there are two winners in a game because there's the one who gets the most points, but then there's the person who gets the most likes. Right. So because you can like people's. So there's kind of two ways to go at it. You can go for trying to get people to think yours is actually true, or just trying to be the funniest and thing that you there can are get. So, what was the? There's one like the group of women in the 19th century. What was the name of your? Uh... <laughs> I don't. I don't know if I should say it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember anything. Now I'm thinking my place, maybe actually. <laughs> Because he wrote this whole little rhyme. It was like ten <laughs> words long. It was it fantastic. was a, it was a Britishism, <laughs> but uh, that's that's the other thing that I think is important to mention. This a lot of these games are very Cards Against Humanity inspired, I would say, and often it's very easy, especially with the group of twenty plus somethings who have maybe have beer in them, <laughs> for it to devolve into a profanity and vulgarity. Uh, and some I think uh, sometimes we kind of try to fight back against that to not always vote for the, like make people try to be funnier and more original than just the obvious crude answer. Just not a Gentelia joke? Yeah, uh, which which sometimes is very funny Oh, no, 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 yeah, <laughs> no, sometimes they work. But that can happen. Actually, this actually has family-friendly modes, too, in it, so you can play this with kids and they will, like, cut out the questions that are more risque. Oh, uh, yeah, considering the, uh, one, another, the sound one, which we'll get to. Well, let's talk about that next. I think th this is, this is the most board gamey, uh, I think, because it's very, it's really just apples to apples or cards against humanity in a digital form. Really? I would say a different one might be, but continue. Oh, you're thinking of the bidding game. I guess. So. Well, this one, like, most directly. Well, we'll get there. Okay, yeah. let's talk about that. <laughs> This one's a new one. In this game, the way it works is it randomly chooses someone as a judge. Right. And they'll give a topic of what you're trying to hear sounds for, like uh, how to quiet a baby. <laughs> and then everyone gets a list of five sounds. I think five or six. Yeah, and you pick two of them. Yes. And you, you're choosing which order to play. And they play in that order. Right. So, for example, the quieting the baby one, <laughs> I think I was a judge for that. And the winner <laughs> was you heard a baby cry, someone made a baby crying noise. It was just like, they already won with that. Yeah. And then a shotgun blast. <laughs> right. So, stuff like that. It's totally random. You don't always get good options like right. that. Which I think, well, the game, that game was fun. That was probably the biggest problem with it is because you can just, it was like, if I had to compare it, it would actually be apples to apples. Yeah. You know how sometimes in apples to apples, you just get those things like, 
I got nothing for you. Same with Cards Against Humanity. I yeah, think same and thing. though we were, I think there's only one round we had where that really happened. That was for Mark had to judge um, uh, something about hunting. I don't know. But <laughs> there's just no good. Oh, what, what would deer? What do deer hunters think of while waiting? Right. And no one had it's, anything good. Yeah, it, it's just because sometimes the sound effects. It's not like a word or a joke. It's it's a very broad right. thing. But I, I like think, the concept. No, a lot. I do, and I think the one thing that would push over the edge for me to make it a lot better too. Oh right. Would actually be able if you could add your own, because I just like the first one when you type an answer. You could really add some great sound effects. Like there are some good ones, like just hey or. <laughs> To stop the bleeding. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then imagine, like, if you know your group, to put in things just like, but, well, like, imagine if there's just like, for uh, us, speaking of which. <laughs> <laughs> right. I like the idea, but then aren't you just, can't you just, wouldn't this be the same as just writing in anything you want if you're just going to say. No, 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 I'm saying like you would download create. them. So like it would, when choosing, when choose from its list of sounds, it could choose those. Someone else. I'm I, not saying yeah. like you, for the baby crying you would record. Like, okay. the idea is you would give it some things it could pull Just from. Just random things. Yeah, okay. I think that's what it should, no, I definitely agree that yeah. you shouldn't be able, I think it would be pulled, so I could be able to get one that's yours just saying like <laughs> something silly. But that was definitely, I thought, it, 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 it had funny moments, but more a miss than a hit. Um, I like, I don't want to play it again, to be honest. <laughs> that, that's my, that's, that's my, fair. that's my assessment. Right, uh, the next one yeah. uh, is the one we were arguing a little bit the, about the before. Bidi it's Bidiot. called Bidiots. Uh, where everybody draws abstract art based on titles they give you, <laughs> and you're all bidding, and it's like a regular auction, and you can outbid each other. There's a, the TV as the auctioneer, and you, some of you know what things are worth, and some of you know what other things are worth. He, the way it's the game really works confusing. Is, here's how the game works. Yeah, it's, that's each of you are given a piece of uh, two things to draw. So once you draw them, each piece of art is going to be given a value of how much someone else, you're pretty much buying for other people and what each one pay. You, on your phone, will know what three of the pieces are worth. It's up to you to try to guess what the other ones are and you bid on them. The thing is, it doesn't really tell you that, so I didn't realize that the, anything outside of those, I thought I was only supposed to bid on those three things, not that mm. those only three I didn't know. Right. Also, you'll be receiving texts midway through the game saying like, Jonathan knows the price of this piece of artwork, so watch him. Right. And then you can also force someone to bid with a screw and stuff. Yeah, this was definitely the least funny game. <laughs> yeah. Nobody was laughing, and people were kind of confused. Well, one of the big issues I felt is the artwork, which they draw. Like, I had to draw a close-up of a hairy chest. Right. And something else. You never knew that. Yeah, they like, never told you what it was until the very, very end. And even if you knew what it was... It's not that funny. Like, their yeah. prompts aren't super funny. Yeah, what was almond milk? C like, what a drawing game could be. Like, there's potential for a lot of hilarious things there. They just, just really couldn't no, come across. Like, to me, that was the miss in this. Like, the sound one, I could probably play again, but this one, I really have no... Well, the bidding one I at least thought, I thought was m very interesting conceptually and unique. I thought it had a lot of interesting mechanics. The sound one really was just apples to apples. So like I appreciated this one for its for what it was tr going. It was more ambitious, I think. Um, uh, uh, yeah, I don't know, but but uh, but I I I kind of I, I kind of liked it, but it really wasn't. It didn't really fit in with the other games. It was, it was definitely the most involved and most gamey of the games. Also, like a lot a lot of rules is is interesting. Uh, I think there was only one other one, right? Besides the bomb one, there's only one other one. I didn't see the full list. That's why I was. Uh, well, there's only one other one that I care to talk yeah. about. <laughs> well, the other one that no, I... No, no, there were... You forgot. There is one. The the one... Quiplash. Where, yeah. Yeah. And uh, one bomb. other one besides the bottom oh. one. That's what I meant. Jeez. <laughs> the, this one I thought was a hit. This was definitely, I think, this as close to as good or as good as the Fibbage yes. one. The way it worked is each you are given two questions and you have to give an answer for it. Someone else in the group will have the same question as the two questions as you said. And what's going to happen is the question will come up and the two answers. And people vote which one they like better. And whoever, depending on your, how the vote, votes are spread, you get more points. And then, then what happens in this is that you'll get something like, uh, uh, what's, the secret, uh, what's Alvin's secret and Alvin the Chipmunks? And you'll get one answer that's like, <laughs> their singing is good, their music is good, or Alvin <laughs> uses voice enhancers. Right, what, anything you want to write. Right. So it's sort of, it's like if Cards Against Humanity, but 
you get to write whatever you want, and only two people go up at a time, and everybody votes for them. Right. But I loved that freedom of choice for what to write, and it was also because it goes so fast. There's a new question every ten seconds. It, it was never boring. I was always excited to see what the next question would be, what the choices would be. I thought there were always a lot of funny options. You see, I, well, I did like this one mm. a lot more than those. I actually got, like, the first time oh. I played it, I didn't like it much for two reasons. Okay. One, because you only answered two. My two came up right away. I'm like, uh, well, I'm done. Huh. And this actually happened to someone else. Two, it sort of sucks when each time you lose, like, your answer, it's like... Well, yeah, but I mean, it sucks to lose in any game. No, you but can I mean, lose in, it. in particular, this one, because it's head on, not like, like, to me, the Fibbage one, like, when you're lost in the sea, you're like, oh, well, but some reason to this one, it's like, more, because uh, it's all likes. It's not even like trying to come up with a good line. Right. Yeah, that's true. But I think that's the same as Apples to Apples or Cards Against Humanity. I mean, or, or the or the no, sound yeah. effect game. It's, it's I get, but someone this one stuck more to me. Yeah, it's 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 more head to head. Uh, but but yeah, I, I, this was I thought this was my my second favorite uh, after Fibbage. Uh, and then we played the bomb one. You didn't play it, but you kind of I think you understood saw, the gist of it. It's, yeah. it's this one's a cooperative, much different from the other games. It's not. It's more like its own thing. It's not a party game, really, where everyone has different instructions about how to d defuse a bomb. And you have to shout to each other about how. And to of do course, it. the instructions will sometimes say, "Don't listen to page four. Right. They get confusing. This game was all right, but <laughs> I think the best part for me from yeah. watching was apparently you got instructions written by a child. Yeah, that was where we stopped. <laughs> it was like bad wires make me ugly. It was like a logic puzzle. It, it was interesting that the, my problem with it ultimately, which is kind of my problem with similar games, like that one on the Oculus VR, right, the, the that's all very similar, bomb diffusing, is at a certain point, it kind of just comes down to, it's my turn to read to you what's on my phone, now it's my turn to read it. Like, it doesn't, I'm, it's a co it doesn't feel like I need to be here. Like, I could just put these four phones down and one person could read them all. It doesn't feel like I'm really participating. They're just telling me what to say. This is interesting because... This reminds me almost a lot of what you said about when you did the uh, locked in a room thing. Huh, really? You mentioned how, like, you sort of, like, because you had all the people there, it's like, well, I'm just standing around now. Like, you didn't get to do all the puzzles. Huh. Well, I think the problem is, it seems you, bit. not that it's a bad thing, yeah. is that you want, you know, you want the whole experience. And for you, what the way this sounds like is you read one page, you're done. Well, it just, it was more like, I understand what you're saying. I think it's a little bit like that. But it's more like I just felt like I was redundant. Like, I, if, if a robot was reading my phone, it'd be the same thing. Like, there's no reason for a human being to be there, really, until you, well, it, gets, it gets more logic-y. But that, I don't know. Like, it is, a, I like the idea. I like it, but... It hasn't been... It just is a little, it for? needs a little something. It hasn't been... Uh, Utilized right. For Maybe, you. yeah. Um, and there's also that space team game on, on your phones. I think Matt has it where uh, it's a similar idea. It's kind of like Space Third and you have to be like, press oh, the yeah. Comblorpulator and yeah. someone else has it. It's a, it's a great, also probably better if you're just drunk and you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> well, no, I think all these games are significantly better. But I will say, I do love these Jackbox games, but they definitely are a mixed bag. Like, it's. Uh, it's not hit after hit. It's usually there's one, maybe two games that you'll really play, and the rest that are like, we'll do it once, but no one's clamoring to go back to it later. Uh, which is kind of a shame. I, it would be great if they had five Fibbage level games, uh, but I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but you can check it out if that sounded good to you. We still, I still definitely recommend them, especially because the first one is pretty cheap, and if you get them in a Steam sale, uh, which, is going, on which is going on for the next two days, if you're watching uh, this when it comes out, pretty good prices. Great if you have No, I mean, like, games. even, like you said, it's a mixed bag, but at the same time, like I said in the beginning of this review thing, if we have at least six people or more, I really want to do Fibbage or... Yeah, it's still worth the price, even really, for that one game, just because it's, they aren't in that hell, expensive. Even with the four, I love the Jack, uh, Jack, uh, was it? You, you don't, don't know, know Jack. Jack. Thank you. Yeah, which is great. <laughs>